judge yesterday says he's inclined to release part of the affidavit. That's very unusual prior to an indictment being unsealed. So that's an unusual move. He said that the government didn't show enough of a burden that some of it could not be released. He ordered that by noon on next Thursday, the government file under seal its proposed redactions along with a legal memorandum setting forth the redactions are why they're justified. What the government notoriously does is they selectively leak what you would like to hear uh, or what they would like you to hear rather, you know, their, their sort of spin on things. And that could be offensive to the court. The court may just decide that, you know, if they're going to play that game, we might as well get everything out there rather than just a, you know, a trial by selective leak. When you talk about the justification for a search warrant on the former president of the United States uh, property, this should be towards this should be a well-developed investigation. But instead, and this is another one of these things that are so nonsensical, instead The government said that they are, quote, in the early stages of this investigation. If they're in the early stages of the investigation, supposedly the the warrant sat on the the application for the warrant, sat on the desk of Merrick Garland for weeks. So all this urgency that they supposedly had obviously didn't exist. In this moment, we're in uncharted territory because normally you don't have a search warrant released uh, prior to indictment. And you certainly don't have the warrant together with the supporting affidavit released. But then again, we left ordinary a long time ago because ordinarily you don't see a former president of the United States or a possible future president of the United States, and Donald Trump is both, Mm. being subjected to this kind of raid. It's so interesting to me that they said that this is in the early stages of investigation, yet they went immediately to, to execute a search warrant on the former president's personal residence. That's normally not how that's done. Uh, but and, and Merrick Garland said that, but the politics of this are for real. We'll see what happens in the hours and days ahead. I mean, we could see some of this coming out next week. But again, like you said, Logan, though, I don't think people need to think this is going to look good for the president, former president. It's not. Clearly, they had to have put something in there bad enough to feel like justifiable. Whether you agree with it or you disagree with it or its validity, it's still going to be in there. And that's the question of if that even gets that point gets released with the fact that it's going to be at least partially and they can redact redacted. it to make it even look worse. I was surprised the judge was as open to doing this as he was. Yeah, we don't know his motive, but it's a very interesting uh, take for a judge to do that. Almost always these things get rejected. They're saying that you can't release this information at all. That's what the government's position is because it might impact John other investigations the government's current position is at the beginning of an investigation where they don't have a lot of clarity where they're headed they already decided they were going to raid a former president's home that is shocking and i think another thing they said in their motions that jumped out is you know we've been told this is all about records but then they made a reference that if we have to release this affidavit we're going to jeopardize other ongoing investigations so wait are there other things that we don't know about and was that search actually about those other investigations as i dig deeper start talking to law enforcement there's a growing feeling that maybe this very broad search warrant which was you know pitched as a a look for presidential records may have had some other motives there's been no charges no charges have been leveled against the president, but this was a very bold and a very aggressive move that was made yep. on the president here. I had a great opportunity to talk to one of the great FBI executives of the past, uh, Kevin Brock, former intelligence chief, and he said he's never seen a search warrant written this broadly. It basically says any document between January 2017 and January could be seized. The FBI manual always says you should be as narrow as possible. He believes that this search warrant once challenged if the president were to challenge it will be struck down as overly broad and as a fishing expedition the judge said by next thursday the government has to respond with the redacted copy of the affidavit so we'll see what happens obviously next week's gonna be a big week